Uh, hello, my name is Trinity Wallace. I'm a senior at Omaha North. Be hospitable! Thanks. Um, my poem is called The Man with the Red Coat. My fingertips pierces through a thorn that has white fluff in the middle. As a dot of red peeks through the surface of my skin, the plant begins to turn red as my finger digs into the plant trying to save the white fluff from the red puddle. The man with the big red heavy coat as he rides upon his white steed with a thing that could stain your skin with a blink of an eye. I went to the barn to count my goodies for the master, but there lies the man with the red coat staring at me with his red shot eyes, with a tint of blue to show that he's still human, the humanity is still within his surface of his skin. With his hand raising up with his skin breaker, I could already feel my flesh rip apart under the force of the blow, ripping the apples of my cheeks wide open to reveal the same red as I saw before in the white fluff. He walked away as my skin dragged across the wooden floor as the wood scraps pierces through my skin, the dirt falling into the wounds as my soul was being dragged to the trees of, of trees of pain. Now you think of what you've done, they said. Puffy red cheeks, eyes having no color to them, not even the warm brown from before, only red. My back begins to tighten, shoulders, lower back, stinging, crying out, hoping that someone will come out and help me, but all that came from my pleading was fear. The moonlight glazing on the ocean surface as we slept through the night with our stomachs rumbling to the point of it caving onto our ribcage, exposing our hearts from the battle. Our weakened hearts could shatter in a million pieces with one touch. Our weakened bones could snap with a blink of an eye. Our lungs burned from the chemicals, from the toxic air, from the long days of work. Our fingers all the way down to our toes, well, there's no feeling in them no more. Our skin is as cold as the monster's shadows. The moonlight tries to warm us up with his presence. With the moonlight trying to kiss our cheeks and our wounds like our mother used to, the moonlight was a safe light. Because for the, for the night, our fear was gone. Almost like the moonlight was trying to save us from those who were trying to control us.